evening. Welcome to Politics Tonight. I'm WGN-TV political analyst Paul Lisnick, and this is our nightly look at politics around our city, state, and nation. We start tonight with the ongoing fight for a higher minimum wage in Chicago. Chicago fast food workers making their voices heard, marching through downtown tonight as they continue their campaign for a $15 an hour wage. At today's demonstration began at a McDonald's restaurant on the north side, continues in the south loop tonight. Though critics say a $15 minimum wage will cause businesses to replace employees with automated self-service alternatives. WGN's Julian Cruz has the latest on that demonstration. Get up, get down. Chicago is a union up. Across the city, protesters are taking action to make their point. At one of the busiest intersections on the far north side, protesters sit down in the middle of Sheridan and Hollywood, right at the end of Lakeshore Drive, among the fast food workers, part-time warehouse workers, and adjunct professors here is nursing home health care specialist Lakeisha Collins. We take care of the most vulnerable people and we're paid poverty wages. We're suffering ourselves, but we love what we do and we want to give quality care. But the nursing home owners, they rather slash staffing and resources and make it harder for us to do our jobs. Show me what democracy looks like. Protesters marching across the city making the case for a $15 minimum wage. Adriana Alvarez says that she can't survive on the $10 an hour that she makes at McDonald's. I can't afford to pay my rent, I can't afford to pay daycare, I have a four-year-old son, I'm a single mom. It's just really stressful on top of more stress from work. Fast food giant Oak Brook, Illinois-based McDonald's Corporation, a clear target today. This rally on the 6,000 block of North Broadway, one of many Chicago McDonald's stores across the city feeling the brunt of today's action. But there are home health care workers here, part-time nursing home workers, and even adjunct university professors protesting against the downward pressure on wages. Our students' tuition keeps rising, and yet our wages are not. Uh, adjunct professors at Loyola have not had a raise in seven years, and yet our administration is more bloated than ever before. We have the assistant dean of assistant deaning and extra provosts who are making six figures when adjuncts are on public assistance just to survive. Julian.